Hi, this is Ian Lamont, Sloan Fellows Video Blog. It's July 15th, 2010. It's about 7.30 in the evening. I just finished a session at the library for a couple hours, uh, and then before that I was in class all day. And the theme of today's episode is sleep deprivation. And all the other Sloan Fellows will know exactly what I'm talking about, uh, but for those of you who are not Sloan Fellows, uh, friends or family, or just curious about the program, uh, during the summertime we're in a very condensed schedule, have to get through the core curriculum, and right now we're dealing with three quantitative subjects, uh, accounting, data models and decisions, and finance. And uh, it requires, all three, all three classes require lots of readings, problem sets, uh, special cases to read, reading, re 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 reviewing your notes, and also just kind of wrapping your head around all the math and uh, concepts that are being thrown at us at a uh, fire hose pace. It's pretty intense, very interesting, uh, but it's pretty tough. And, uh, if the math part is just something you have to deal with at MIT, and no surprise there. Uh, but it keeps everyone awake pretty late working on everything and, and trying to comprehend what's going on. Um, so last night, for instance, I got to bed at around 1.30 or 2 o'clock, and uh, this morning got up at 6.10, 6 and then um, you know came in on the train around 7 o'clock or so. Uh, but there's just lots of uh, reading to keep up with, and uh, it's pretty hard home schedule and also your sleep schedule. So what do Sloan Fellows do to uh, stay awake? Uh, well, one thing, uh, if you're like me at least, is you get some caffeine pills and you try those out for a couple weeks and then you realize that they don't really do anything. And the next thing you do is you start getting uh, Coke Zero or Coca-Cola or Pepsi and drinking two bottles or two cans of that a day during class time, only to find out that it really doesn't keep you awake. And then you do what everyone, nearly everyone has discovered is that you just have to have massive intakes of coffee uh, throughout the day, throughout the day, in order to stay alert and focused on the class, and uh, it's I'm not a coffee drinker until I came here, and um, I'm I am one now, two cups a day, and uh, you just need the caffeine just to stay awake and to uh, to, to just to be aware of what's going on, uh, not just for the classes, but also for the uh, the study that takes place late into the night. So it's pretty tough, it's pretty intense, but it's a lot of fun. It's a great group of people, and I'm uh, it, you know, I'm so glad that I'm here. And learning a lot, and with some great and with some uh, great classmates and great faculty members. Um, one last thing about the uh, sleep deprivation: using lots of caffeine to stay up. Uh, the other thing is, is you tend to develop headaches. So uh, I just carry around an aspirin with me in this uh, in this little tic tac container. And then, of course, the medication that a lot of fellows like to partake in on Friday afternoon after the classes and the uh, study study sessions have wrapped up is uh, go down to the Muddy Charles, which is right down Memorial Drive. It's an MIT pub. Just have a couple beers and just uh, unwind after a pretty tough week. Uh, but then again, on Saturday and Sunday, of course, there's more reading to do. So it never really ends. Well, it won't end until the end of next month uh, when the summer core uh, wraps up. One last thing that we're in, I'm in the I'm in the Sloan building right now at uh, Memorial Drive. I think it's 50 Memorial Drive. This was an old uh, headquarters uh, for an industrial company in the states back in the 1920s or 1930s. It's actually pretty interesting. It's kind of like Art Deco style with some funky murals over there on the back wall behind me. Uh, there's nobody else in the lobby right now because it's 7.30 in the evening, but uh, during the school year and during the day, of course, there's lots of people wandering around. And this is actually uh, the last year that the Sloan building will be at, at 50 Memorial Drive will be kind of the headquarters for um, the Sloan experience because they're opening up a new building just around the corner, which we're going to move into, I think, in September. So. Starting September, I think the Sloan Fellows video blog will be more over there and less over here. But uh, one of these days, I'm going to take some pictures of the of all the murals on the wall and um, just see what's going on with that and post it to my blog. But anyways, Sloan Fellows video blog, been blabbing for four minutes. That's enough. And uh, hopefully until next time, this is Ian. Bye-bye.